The SnipMate plugin was created to mimic the popular TextMate snippets feature where, for example, you can type the word div, press tab, and that'll expand to a full div element where you can then uh, press tab and add the attributes that you need, and it's much faster. So it's similar to SparkUp, but SparkUp is more for creating complex HTML structures, and snippets can be for everything from JavaScript to PHP to HTML to anything you want it to be. So that's the subject of our fourth plugin feature. So you can access it at this page, which we'll link to in the article portion. And again, take note of this. We could download it here, but that was last updated in 2009, or better, download it directly from GitHub. And you can see that it's been updated as recently as April of 2010. So this will be the smarter choice. Now, I learned in the last lesson not all of you work with Git, so rather than using Git clone, let's download it manually. And now let's go ahead and check this out in the terminal. So we'll go to my desktop, and you can see that we have this file right here. So we want to unzip that. Let's go ahead and do that. Unzip. And now you can see that that's unzipped all of those files, and there's a lot here. So you'll see that in addition to your plugin file, it also has, uh, it's auto-loaded, and there's a handful of snippets here, and each one contains different snippets for that particular language. So we're going to take a look at that shortly. But now we need to go ahead and install this, and we can do that really easily. I'm going to type clear to clear this out, and now I'm going to cd into that directory, and we're going to copy this over, we're going to copy everything over to the Vim folder. And that's it. We're done. So now at this point, let's go ahead and play around with it. I'm going to open up Mac Vim, and I'm going to create a new file, and we'll call this testing2.html. All right, so now popular things I can do. I can type div, press tab, and look at that expands. And then at this point, I can type my attribute or nothing. And then when I hit tab again, it'll go to the next stop point. So if we want to take a look at all the different things that are available, let's go ahead and look at the vim slash snippets folder. And you'll see these are the different files that we can work with. So we're going to be in HTML. And notice all of these. So they're declared by writing snippet, then the snippet name, and then on the next line with a tab, what that will expand or echo out. So for example, if I type enter plus tab, let's see what we get. There you go, you get the symbol for enter, whatever that might be. So there's a lot of them, um, doc types. So if we wanted to do HTML, let's try that one out. HTML, tab, and that'll create an HTML element. And then what's cool is you can add your own here. So take a look at all these tab stops. Notice 340, what's all that? Those are optional stops, but they have default values. So for example, if I type text area tab, That'll go to the name area, and that's the default, but I can change it. And then if I hit tab again, it'll go to the next area and the next area. Or if I want to go back, I can type shift tab. Pretty neat, right? So let's create our own here, our first own one. So we'll do this snippet, and we'll call it blah. And this will simply echo out a blah element like that. Now keep in mind though is sometimes you're going to need to create a new window. So for example if I type blah tab that's not going to work. I need to create a new window or restart Mac Vim. So I'm going to hit command N on the Mac to create a new window and once again we're going to browse to some gibberish HTML file and now when I type blah and tab that'll go ahead and expand that out for me. So let's close this out and come back and let's add some more features. So rather than forcing the person to type something in, we're going to set a default value. So the first stop point is going to be here, and I can represent that by dollar curly brace one. And then if I have another one, new edge, I can represent that by two. So then I can do here and do attribute one will be the default value. And this will be attribute two is the second default value. But then when we're done, I want to give them the option of pressing tab to go to a new line. So we'll do that right here. And by the way, I need to put a colon right there. And now I'm going to type 3, and that'll be the third stop point. And that should be it. So once again, let's go ahead and edit index.html, and let's try it again. I'm going to type blah plus tab, and notice now I can press tab to go to the second stop point. And then if I hit it three times, one more time, 
Now it goes to the new line. Very helpful. So we're finished with that. I'm going to delete that and save it. And let's go back and take a look at our snippets again. You'll notice we don't see a CSS snippets file here. So let's create one ourselves, and that'll correspond to all CSS extensions. So we'll call this CSS.snippets, like so. All right, let's do, for a sample, maybe margin. Snippet margin, or let's do MA for margin all because ultimately we'll end up doing something like ML, snippet, MT, and things like that for margin left, margin top. All right, so this will be responsible for margin, and we're gonna do one, and by default, they're all gonna be 10 pixels around. But we're gonna give the person the option of tabbing through these and changing them if they need to. Four, 10 pixels, and then we need to do five for the final tab stop. And that should be fine. So let's do another one for margin left, and that'll be margin left, 10 pixels like so, and then another breakpoint. So I'll yank that, and that'll be margin left, margin top, margin bottom, margin right. Top, margin right. Okay, that should do it. So let's test this out now. I have a new CSS file. And if I type margin right or MR plus tab, and now you can see it expands to the full value. Now at this point, I can either change the default value or I can hit tab again to go to the new line. Very cool. So now let's do the full version, which was margin all or MA. So I'll type that. And now notice that it expands all the way. So I can do five pixels and then I can keep pressing tab to go to the next stop points. And that's all there is to it. So let's go back and to reiterate, you give it a name, you call snippet, give it a name, and then you paste in what you want it to expand to. Now there's tons available for you. So before you begin creating your own, take a look at all the various snippet files and see if there's some already made for you, but definitely use this one in your projects.